Stuart Alamo City Cello and that's a little uh, snippet a fragment from Don Juan by Richard Strauss and uh, this is on the uh, Texas Allstate audition list so I wanted to go over this for uh, my students and for others that might find it useful uh, I'm gonna play through sections of this slowly slowly with some commentary on it and uh, so get your cello and we're gonna have some fun together, okay? So um, I'm gonna start at letter A, at letter A, uh, and under tempo, about this tempo. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> that little section right there so um, I'm starting off in half position the first two notes are in half position fourth finger first finger oh by the way uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description bar to the fingerings and the addition that I'm using so feel free to download that so we're on the same page literally okay so <laughs> we're gonna start at A and um, <clears throat> starting off the first two notes in half position so four one mm -hmm. And then shifting up to first position for the next few notes. One, extended two, four, open, half position, and extended second finger. <clears throat> now, when looking at shifts, I like to shift um, on the half step if possible, small shifts, and minimizing the number of shifts. So that's kind of two guidelines for uh, designing fingering. So you want something that uh, is reliable and that is musical so um, and also that doesn't have too many shift it, too many shifts in it so uh, those those things can slow you down over time so uh, again the beginning of this is excuse me and then the next uh, group of uh, triplets I'm starting in Extended second finger, then four, then open, half position, first finger, extended two, three, four. And again, the idea here is to shift at the half step and to minimize the number of shifts that we have to make. So uh, there's really only what, one shift in there? Well, two if you count going from half to first, so. Okie dokie, we'll just play that over slowly. The first four bars of A. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> So this is after a one, two, three, four. 
five after A, five after A. I'm gonna play this slowly. <laughs> loosely up or out of rhythm there but we're concentrating mostly on pitch at this point so uh, again five after a five after a starting off in first position extended first position then coming back to half position there is other options for fingerings um, and that is that you know you would the, the idea is that you want to keep those two notes in one position so that it'll sound more connected. So, for example, a good fingering here, my option might be one, excuse me, uh, then half position. I could see that working very well. Um, well, anyways. The, the fingering that I'm using is so I'm just going back to, to half position there. So, but your mileage may vary. Let's move on. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six after six after A. So I'm starting it on second finger, extended two. <clears throat> and then this is technically second position. Uh, well, technically it's first, but... The next one... First finger C natural, third position. And again, the idea here was that uh, to keep this j this gap, this jump, uh, the sixth, to keep it um, in one position, so that the, the hand didn't have to move quickly like that. I think it's pretty good fingering. Whether options are there? Maybe four. Also work as well so um. all right let's move on this is after a one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen after so you have this uh, this snippet here <laughs> You can start that up here. I mean, I guess there's a way to maybe like, and maybe be in position initially, like. I don't know. Well, anyways, I don't do that fingering because I think it sounds kind of woofy anyways. I, this I feel, second finger D, I feel secure finding. Then I'm going to harmonic thumb. And okay, so let's take a look at this fingering. So second finger D, and then harmonic. Then you build a second finger and then D, and then hold, hold the second finger and the thumb down because you're going to be going right back to it. Three, one, three. If you can have something already set up, then it makes life easier, right? You sleep better at night because we all want to sleep well at night, don't we? Yes, we do. So again, from this the third line. <laughs> Well, actually, it's not the third line in your score, most likely, but anyways. Uh, that's that. And then moving on. Now, this 
reminds me, this motif reminds me of what we see in the very beginning of uh, the tone poem. And what I think is really important here as, is that the rhythm is very precise, especially the difference between 16th notes and triplets. So, ba 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 so that that's very precise with the rhythm, right? Right? Start the next passage on first finger. So, um, I like this finger fingering because it's the same in both places. So anytime I get a chance to make things the same, um, obviously, you know, you, you want to make good music, but I mean, just mechanically speaking, if we can have the same fingering twice, less that we have to remember, right? More room for other things we want to remember, you know, like uh, rainbows and butterflies and all that good stuff. So you're starting on second position, third position, excuse me, and then two, three, four, and then one, then again two, three, four. Again, I start this, the, the following one, the following passage, I will begin with first finger again, but two, four, then one. to make the shift to fourth position is that I can play the the C on the D string this note because it's piano pianissimo so we're from double forte and playing it on the D string will definitely mute it somewhat it'll be less bright than the A string so if you're thinking about um, dynamics and just overall sound when you're selecting strings and what whether you play something on the D or the A string a lot of it has to do with uh, uh, the, the color and the, and the volume that you want all right we're looking at letter C letter C oh no excuse me before C one two three four five before C so you have one two three this uh, this run uh, is is made easier by keeping the same fingering all the way through of one extended to four. So one extended to four, open one extended to four, one extended to four. Give that a try, right? And Strauss has written out what, in effect, is an acella rondo into this. Where you start slower and you kind of build into it. He wanted maybe more control than, you know, just writing a cello rondo on some notes, you know, to have it, you know, but this seems to be the end, uh, the end of fact as you get that, so. Uh, after you play this run, after you play this, then do a substitution second finger on the G sharp. Three, two, one. Then shift back to extended first position. Right? So. Then do it on one, uh, two bows. time have I used here uh, 14 minutes wow can I upload 14 minutes let's find out all right make a second part later